So every year we have this little competition as a church. I mean, every church needs to know how it can define growth and success. And we do that by saves, or what we call winning of souls for the Lord, or waspels. And what we do is each staff adds up the number of saves or waspels they have. We calculate those out, and whoever has the most waspels at the end of the year has bragging rights for the entire year. Now, I'm sure I don't have to tell you how important it is that I, as directional leader, win this competition. But every year, that stinking website wins. Stinking website? R really, he said that? Well, he's about to lose access to his email. On top of that, we have a couple of newbies this year. Okay, since you guys are new here, there's a few rules we need to go over. We'll need to confirm um, salvations until you hit a certain number. So, if you feel like you have a conversion, then you need to find Doug or myself, and we will verify if it's a true conversion or not. And then you'll be able to make sure the proper paperwork has been done and record your waspful on the on the tab sheet. Yeah, but verification. What do you mean by verification? I mean, how can you verify a conversion? I just need to talk to them. I need to ask them a few questions like, uh, how do you feel about tithing? Can you name two of the three members of the Trinity? Who is God's son? Thing only Christians, things only Christians would really know, you know. All right, since we don't have any more questions, uh, it's game time. Uh, trash talking is not only allowed in this game, it's also encouraged. So let's get out, losers. Trash talk, oh yeah, it's good. I mean, I know that in Ephesians 4.29, Paul says that we should build one another up, but he was never in a competition of this magnitude. Hey, Lawrence, you think you can keep up with me? You better pick it up. You only have 15 waffles. I'm about to drop you like third period French. Oh yeah? Well, your favorite Football squad didn't score sufficient points to win their last match. Huh? Did he say huh? football squad? That, dude, that was not good. Well, you're not good. Chris, I don't see how you can count five of your conversions. I mean, five waspels for dunking a kid underwater at a pool party as a baptism? That doesn't make any sense. You can't do that. If you hold them underwater, it makes perfect sense. Not if you're playing Marco Polo. Yeah, yeah, hello. I'd like to sign up for the, the Sergeant Slaughter's Trash Talking Boot Camp. The early edition, the soonest one you can. Right, two. Hold on a minute. Handed out the uh, Sunday worship <coughs> agenda. Everybody should have that. Uh, Tony, I emailed you yours. I know you do not like paper. Save so. the trees. Got it on the iPad. So we're good? Good. Hey, the service this week is going to run a little bit longer. We're getting creative. Okay, so I just want everybody to know that. Yeah, you know, when I was looking at it, I noticed there's like a 30-minute window between take it home and the end of the service. What's that about? Well, I just thought it would be important to have an invitation in this week's service. Come on, Doug. You cannot use an invitation to pad your waspels. Look, everybody deserves a chance at salvation, and that's all I'm doing is giving them that chance. No, oh, no, that's I cheatery, man. You're never just interested in the waffles. Hey, I'm just interested in getting a waffle. If you guys don't settle down, I'm going to have the elders revoke the prize for the contest. Just you can't do that. I'm an elder. Can she do that? Seriously? He still thinks he's the boss around here? That's so cute. Besides, the website's totally out of their reach. Guys, I'm sorry. It, it's just that stinking website is driving me nuts. And, and, and she's right. You know, but look. All competition aside, we have just got to find some way to beat that stinking website. Yeah. yeah. I got it. You access the website through the computer, right? Yeah. Well, then why in the heck don't we unplug all the computers? That's a good idea. Yeah. That could yeah. work. Yeah, well, better yet, why don't we just unplug the whole internet? Wait, you can do that? Yeah. Wait a second, I... guys. Hold on. So you're telling me that if we unplug one wire, the internet all over the world breaks? Yeah, it happens all the time at my house. All the time. All right. Let's well, awesome, let's, let's do, do it. it. All right. <laughs> Why did I think of that? That's crazy. 
All right, try now. Okay. Oh, it's still there. <sighs> hey, wait, guys, 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 wait a minute. I may be new at this office, but come on. Where do you keep the internet around here? Hey, you know, I think it, I think it's just outside your office. You know where all those wires hang down? Out of the ceiling? Oh, yeah, yeah, that little door right yeah, next check to there. the hall? Check there. All right, we'll take care of this. Let's go, Massey. Yeah. We'll show that internet. We're gonna do it. Yeah, I think it's right back here. Somewhere in here. Oh yeah, look at all these wires. There's gotta be an internet here somewhere. Ah, oh, jeez. There we go, that'll I take care of it. That this is a good idea. <laughs> I think here. Oh might, no. Uh, that website will never score another waspful as long as it lives. Well, die, internet, you, die! You unplugged it, I think. Hey guys, try it now. Hey you guys, that did it. That's well, awesome. Hey, we got it. All right, yeah. Hey Dusty. Hey, can you come in here a minute? Yeah, Doc. What's up? Hey, I just want to say tough luck about the internet. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah, someone unplugged the internet. Wait, what are you talking about? Yeah, I, I heard that somebody unplugged the internet. It's horrible. But Doug, you can't just unplug the internet. Well, sure you can. Look. No, uh, Doug, the internet is fine. See? It's it's not unplugged. But... Oh, I, I think I know what the problem is over here. Yeah, yeah, it, it looks like... It looks like the network's unplugged, not the internet. <laughs> Wait a minute. You didn't really think that someone could unplug one plug and unplug the whole internet, do you? Um, no. Yeah. Okay. Well, I can get this fixed for you real quick. Oh, man. Hey, Doug. Try it now. No. Hey, uh, Doug. Um, I just took a look at that. You guys had some unhooked cables in your network closet, so just be careful next time you go in there. Yeah. Okay. Thanks. Thanks. Oh, yeah, you're welcome. Massey, Tony, Chris, meeting now in my office. Hey, uh, what's up with those guys? Oh, they're just trying to disable the website, so we'll stop running wasps. Hmm. Speaking of which, when are you going to tell them that the website wasps are fake? Well, I think I'll give them a couple of weeks. I like to see them sweat. Well, it's, it's just a simple program. I mean, I log every seventh visitor to the site as a conversion. And I even have it set up to where it'll send a, a fake email to Doug and Chris with answers to their Christian questions. You know, like, Jesus is God's Son, and you know, tithing is good, uh, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit are the members of the Trinity. It's, it's actually pretty simple, and, and it keeps the staff motivated. How come I can't access my email? 